Hey guys, Dr. D, surgeon with a gun. Quick video today on uh, just a quick series of flash, muzzle flash images, or actually, actually video. For those of you who wonder how to potentially predict muzzle flash on a short barrel revolver, um, people talk about this online quite a bit. They talk about what powders to load, some have flash suppressants, some don't. Um, just a curiosity really on my part, um, this revolver is 357, so it shoots 38 Special as well as 357 Magnum. And I've got a series of videos with different powders at different levels. So the first several, I think the first four, are all with a variety of powders in 38 Special Caliber, meaning that, that muzzle blast. And then we go to a couple in 357 Magnum and which we'll see what we find I mean some powders are noted or touted as being low flash but what you find is if you make the uh, if you make the charge heavy enough well that kinda goes away then doesn't it so uh, nevertheless let's take a shot no pun intended or rather pun intended and uh, see what we find Okay, so what's the up and down here? Well, uh, I think Tight Group, which is noted as being a very fast powder, you load that to 357, it seemed to flash the biggest of what I'd loaded. And now I haven't loaded a bunch of really high intensity stuff, but I wouldn't be loading Tight Group in 357 if you're worried about muzzle flash. Um, great practice powder, but. I thought it had quite a bit of flash. 231 at similar charge levels in 38 Special, however, seems to flash more than 38 or more than uh, more than tight group. So for practice, tight group is fine. That's what I mainly use it for. And B86, which I've been pretty happy with, seems at relatively similar charge levels to have flash reduced, and it's supposed to have a flash suppressant. So that's consistent with the advertising, anyway. So at least that's my uh, assessment of a, the same video you're looking at. If you see it differently, go ahead and comment. That's what we have YouTube for. Take care, everybody.